everyone. Welcome to the best place to be if you are studying for NCLEX. This is, in fact, how to pass NCLEX, my motivation. Yes, come on in. We are talking about med surge nursing. I have been on this topic passing NCLEX with medical surgical nursing questions. So we're going to go over uh, some med surge questions today. And of course, I have your Monday motivation for you guys. I'm so happy to be here. Um, our motivational topic is no time to waste. And you guys know whenever I come with the motivation for nursing students, it's more for myself. I hope y'all can enjoy it, though. It's a great one. Hey, the wait is over. The wait is over. Remar Nurse University starts tonight. It starts tonight. And if you haven't gotten your downloadable PDF workbook, guys, it is all over the web. Literally, it is in the Facebook study group. It is on our Remar Facebook page. You Listen, it's there. We're going to be emailing it out once again. So Tonight, it begins 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'm so excited to be studying pharmacology with you guys. It's going to be a good one. And we're going to do this every Monday from tonight until June 8th. So you don't want to miss out on the goodness. I'll talk more about Remar Nurse University at the end of this broadcast. But again, you got to have the downloadable workbook. Sign up for it. If you haven't signed up for it, it is not too late. It is not too late. You can sign up for it at remarnurse.com forward slash RNU. And let me say this. Um, let me say this, guys. I, I want to tell you that, yes, you probably have heard it. There has been some uh, new outbreak, new fact that the changes, the modified version of the test plan for NCLEX RN and NCLEX PN have been extended. So they now, they were supposed to start, um, stop on July the 4th. Now uh, they will be extended until September 30th. Okay. So these are extensions. I know some people said, Hey, I thought that the changes were permanent. No, 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 no. These changes aren't permanent. They are literally put in place to accommodate uh, the pandemic and also to increase, increase the rate at which nurses can get licensed. So these are changes now that I'm really excited about because you guys don't have to deal with the pretest questions or the research questions. You literally go in. Every question that you encounter counts towards whether you pass or not. So it's really old school. It's really old school. And I actually like it. I actually like it. All right. Also, hey, as you guys continue to sign up for Remar Nurse University, shout out to all the nurses who attend every event into my exam. And best believe I'm going to continue to review content. She says, Best believe I'm going to continue to review content as a repeat test taker. I know that's what I lacked. All right. The virtual trainer, quick facts, seven days of NCLEX, love your content, and Remar Nurse University will be the cause and help me reach my final goal of being a registered nurse, not just carrying the degree. Thank you, Mark, in advance. She says, I know I'm passing this time. She'll be back in a month. So literally, guys, we do so many free events throughout the year. Don't miss a single one of them. Um, Nurse Moana says this. She says, shout out to the longest 48 hours of my life waiting for these results. I cannot thank God enough if it had not been for him. Finally, 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 she is officially an RN, has those big letters behind her name. She says this. This is her advice to you. Um, guys, if there's any advice I can give you is never give up on yourself. No matter how many times you fail, make sure you get back up and complete the work God has promised you. I am a repeat test taker and will never, ever, ever be ashamed of it again. Trust me, I went through the grief stage every single time, fourth time, fourth time um, she passed. It's real, but something in me would not allow for me to give up. Oh, she says it again. Don't waste your time or money on any other product. With God, your life is limitless. With God, your life is limitless. So 
Love the testimonials. Love the testimonials that we get right now. All right. 7,000 nurses are in the virtual trainer in and out, in and out. And um, these are new nurses that are coming in. These are new nurses that are coming in. The goal, the goal for you going with your nursing career, time is running short. Time is running short. Okay, so we are going to get into it right now. We're going to get into this right now studying. Okay, here is our first question. Here is our first question coming at you right now. It says this. It says this. The nurse cares for a client with diabetes mellitus type 2. The client's blood glucose level is 563. All right. Um, which physical characteristic does the nurse expect to assess? Is it number one, the client reports tingling lips? Two, the client exhibits bilateral leg pain? Three, the client has poor skin turgor, or four, the client is diaphoretic. All right, which one do you guys say that it is? We're talking about a client here with diab diabetes mellitus type two. Diabetes mellitus type two. And I can't wait till we go over this. I can't wait till we go over this for pharmacology because there's medications that you need to know. All right. And I see a lot of people picking choice number four. Hmm. A lot of people picking choice number four. And remember, is this patient having hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia? Which one? Hyper or hypo? So. All right, hyper, hypo. So if that is the case, all right, if that is the case, then the correct answer, since this patient's having hyperglycemia, okay, is going to be number three. Yes, number three is correct. Because with type two diabetes mellitus, you guys know when that blood sugar level is high, the patient tends to be dehydrated, okay? The patient is dehydrated. So what we're going to see, hyperglycemia results in hemoconcentration. So the blood is the blood is thickened, right? It's dehydrated. Hypovolemia, poor tissue perfusion, all right? Hypoxia. Poor skin turgor is with the dehydration that you would likely expect to see in hyperglycemia. So some people remember diabetes mellitus. It is um, cool and dry sugar high. Is that how that goes? Right? No, no. What is it? Oh, no. Hot and dry sugar high. Yes. Hot and dry sugar high. Cold and clammy needs some candy. So when you when your, when your blood sugar is low, you're that cold and clammy. That's when you're sweaty and you're wet, right? So um, hot and dry, sugar high, right? And that's dehydration. Um, a lot of you picked four, which is the diaphoresis, the sweating. You would see that with um, you would see that with hypoglycemia. When you're dehydrated, you're not going to be putting out a lot of fluids. You're not going to be sweating a lot. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, no, hot. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Let me say it again. Hot and sweaty. No, no. Hot, sugar high. Cold and clammy. Get some candy. Yeah, yeah. All right, girl. I wanted to. Yeah. Okay. So comments on the screen. Help your classmates out. Help your classmates out. Respond to these comments. All right. Today. Okay. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's try number two. Let's try number two. Here we go. A nurse is caring for a 66-year-old. Which assessment data would indicate a potential complication associated with skin? All right. Is it 
thinning of the skin around the joints, dryness, and loss of elasticity, wrinkling or crusting. Ooh, okay, here we go. All right. Which assessment data would indicate a possible complication? All right. Um, and this one is interesting because this is basically asking, do you know your normals versus abnormals? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying right there. That's all I'm saying. I've said too much already. I really have. I've said too much already. Okay. All right. Share this video. Hearts on the screen. If you love studying for NCLEX on Mondays with Remar. All right. Okay. Let me reveal the answer to you guys because I see a lot of people picking. Um, surprisingly, I see a lot of people picking number two. I see a lot of people picking number two. And hey, it is actually going to be the correct answer is actually going to be number four. All right. Remember here we are looking for what we're looking for is abnormals. We're looking for signs of potential complications. So if we're looking for signs of potential complications, I can't pick what's expected. I can't pick what is expected. And so if I got a 66 year old client present with loss of elasticity, is it dry? Is that normal? Absolutely. Is it wrinkled? Absolutely. That's not a sign of a potential complication. But if there is some crusting on the skin, there's something going on. All right. Um, that is an abnormal. So I think today, I think today we are reading. Yes, I think we're reading these questions wrong. I think we're just reading the questions wrong. And I always tell you guys, that's half of the battle. That is half of the battle. The, the reading level of the NCLEX. Okay. So I got to keep going though. I got to keep going. You guys will get this. You'll review it. We have a lot to do. Plus we have Remar Nurse University tonight. This is a studying day for us. Question number three says this. Okay. A client presents to the emergency department with a threatened abortion. She reports abdominal pain and vaginal bleeding. The nurse instructs for home care. Which of the following statements, if made by the client, require follow-up education? Okay. All right. Okay, so follow-up questions. You guys ask me for this a lot. We're looking for the statement that is wrong. So number one says, I will avoid sexual intercourse for two weeks and until the bleeding has stopped. Two, I will record the number of perennial pads and the times of saturation. Three, I will monitor for the passage of tissue during the bleeding. Four, I will implement my bed rest for the duration of the pregnancy. All right, here we go. Here we go. So, which statement requires follow-up education. And the topic that we're talking about here is a uh, stretching you guys, I'm stretching you guys. There's a purpose, there's a point for us coming together. We're not coming together just to play around. We have to learn at the end of this, okay? All right. Uh, okay, so the correct answer, and I appreciate you guys, make an effort, go with your first mind, and if it's not correct, it's okay, you're here to learn. The correct answer for this question is statement number four, okay? Um, a threatened abortion is vaginal bleeding that occurs in the first 20 weeks of pregnancy. So after that time, all right. Once the bleeding stops, once, um, you know, a certain amount of time has passed and the, the child is still viable, then the client resumes her activity. 
she's not on bed rest for the rest of the pregnancy. Okay. She's not on bed rest. So it is important. It is important for number four, number four to be addressed because you do not have to be on bed rest the entire time of the rest of that pregnancy. Does that make sense? Okay. But the other things you do want to do, you do want to do the other things. Okay. All right. Say, we have another question. Don't go anywhere. We have another question. We got another question. The next question, the next question says this, it is question number four. Okay. All right. So this is pharmacology. Here we go. The practical nurse is preparing to administer the antibiotic amicacin. She should instruct the client to report which of the following. All right, here we go. What do you know about this medication? Is it number one, hearing loss? Two, muscle aches when ambulating. Three, insomnia. Four, increased thirst. Oh my goodness. This is where pharmacology matters. This is where pharmacology and education matters. And check this out. It doesn't matter if you're a RN or a PN. You need to know about these medications. You need to know about these medications, period. All right. So when we are talking about, when we are talking about this medication, even if you never heard of it, how much can we how much can we know about the hey how much can we know about the the ending of this medication it ends in a sin <laughs> all right all right the correct answer is going to be here it is correct answer is going to be number 1 hearing loss so if the patient says anything like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm having hearing problems. I couldn't hear you. There is a roaring in my ears. This is something we got to tell the healthcare provider about. OK, we have to tell the healthcare provider about it. The other things are not associated with this medication. So if you chose something different than number one, because this is an easy question, to be honest with you guys, this is a really easy one. So if you chose um, if you chose something different, then just review this. Just review this. That's all. That's all. OK, here we go, guys. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Over a thousand nurses between Facebook and YouTube. This is amazing to me. Next question is this. This might look familiar to you guys. It's actually in your uh, your Remar Nurse University workbook. It is this. A client is taking a monamine oxidase inhibitor. The client has a blood pressure of 184 over 122. The client is otherwise um, asymptomatic. Which action does the nurse take first? Okay. Number one, assess the client for target organ damage. Two, prepare an injectable antihypertensive drug. Three, advocate for an oral antihypertensive agent. Or four, Request the healthcare provider order a set of laboratory values. Okay, here it is, everybody. Go ahead and put your answer down. Go ahead and put your answer down for question number five here. And I don't, I don't know if this, this one um, makes you think this is a priority question. And you always want to prioritize client safety. That is what you want to prioritize. So. What is the safest thing for the nurse to do here? What is the safest thing for the nurse to do for this patient? That's how we have to look at it. Is it going to be assessment? Do we need to assess the patient? Is it to see what kind of organ damage is done? Do we prepare the injectable antihypertensive medicine? Do we advocate for an oral antihypertensive medication, or do we request that the healthcare provider order a set of laboratory values so we can get more information? 
Okay. The correct answer is two. The correct answer is two. All right. And um, it's simply based off of the condition of your patient. This patient is now critical. The blood pressure is stroke level 182 over 122. If a patient comes in with that type of blood pressure, something needs to be done immediately. All right. I don't have time to do an assessment for organ damage. What does that even look like? All right. That's a huge distractor because it has the word assess there. Some people will think, well, that's the first thing I need to do because it says assessment. But that's not how you pass NCLEX. How you pass NCLEX is understanding what your patient needs at that time. OK, not Every patient doesn't need the same thing always, all right? So prepare an injectable antihypertensive medication. Yes, this is what you need to do. You need a fast-acting medication. Uh, I think somebody put, is there injectable hypertensive medications? Uh, what I will say to that is probably what I'll say to most questions. You need to look that up, okay? Because there is absolutely a reason to use IV medication, okay? There is a reason to actually use it. And yes, preparing that medication, all right, for the client. Um, advocate for an oral antihypertensive agent. And so here's the thing. Um, when you're looking at NCLEX questions, your goal is to pick the best one from the choices that are given to you. All right. So this isn't the time when you're taking NCLEX and you literally have every question counting. When you're taking NCLEX and every question now counts, you mindset, how do I pick the best response from the choices that I'm giving? You don't have time to say, well, it should really say this. Can I even do like you have to say, OK, the choices that I'm down to most people were down to two choices. They were down to two. So if I'm down to two or three, two says prepare an injectable antihypertensive drug. Three says advocate for an oral antihypertensive agent. OK, advocate. That means that means call the doctor. That means say, you know what? We want to give an oral medication because based on the client's history, they take pills better. Like what? That don't have nothing to do with what's happening right now. This, this response doesn't even make sense. This client needs an IV blood pressure medication or they're gonna have a stroke. And think about it and think about it. How long would an oral, how long would an oral antihypertensive agent take to work? It's gonna take a while. So when you think about what is the most appropriate response to your client's condition, the only one that makes sense is going to be number two. There's no other one that does something about the issue. Okay. And so this is the mindset. This is the mindset that you have to be in when you're taking NCLEX, when you're taking NCLEX. All right. Because, because, because if you get into scenarios where you overthink, you're going to pick the wrong answer every time. OK, um, so I, I find that nursing students have one or two problems. Either they're not reading properly. OK, so they're they're never getting to what it is. Or, or there's a lack of content. They just don't. What pressure is you've been out of school for so long. You really don't know the medications. You have no idea what an MAOI is, but you're taking NCLEX. So it's either content or reading comprehension. All right. The good thing about it is that both of these things can be fixed. Both of these things can be fixed. All right. So um, what I want you guys to do is this, because we went through questions and some of you guys did really good. Some of you guys realized, hey, pharmacology is a weak area for me. Tune in tonight. Our pharmacology review starts tonight. It is totally free. OK, this is a free event that we do every year. Remar Nurse University is an annual event. It is a month long event. Nobody else does anything like this, but we focus on helping you guys pass NCLEX. Whether you spend a dime, 
with Remar University, Remar nurses or not, that's totally up to you. But at the end of the day, you still need this information to pass your exam. Okay, so it starts tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Set your alarm. Set your alarm. Okay, um, and I want to read to you guys one more testimonial because this one uh, was really encouraging to me. It happened during RNU last year, and so. RNU last year, I don't know if you guys remember, but we did Remar Nurse University last year, a different city every week. Every week we went to a different city. We started in, um, oh goodness, where did we start? Atlanta? I can't remember. We, we started in Chicago. We went to Atlanta. We went to New York. We went to Los Angeles. Um, and then we ended in Miami. And so we had an amazing time. And literally this was a free event we put on the cities. And it was phenomenal. So anyhow, I met Nurse Mimi when I was in uh, Miami. She says this, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. I remember meeting Regina after another NCLEX exam failure. We met last year at Miami at the Bethany SDA church. Regina was in town for RNU. She, she literally came to the church and said, I need to talk to you. I left church to talk to her and she told me she had just failed. And so I, I did tell her, I told her not to give up, um, you know, and that we would figure it out together. She had been an LPN for almost 17 years and had graduated uh, back in 2010 for her RN, but she couldn't, she couldn't pass the test. And she tried a lot of different reviews um, by, she says, Remar was the best by far. She did the boot camp, Monday motivation, the DVD package, um, and finally the best program ever, the virtual trainer. Hallelujah. This is somebody's testimony. This is somebody's testimony. I'm a Remar nurse trying, uh, try anything to remember. You can, you will, you must. Um, and also for those of you that are allowing fear to enter your mind, remember Mark faith over fear. For those of you who wonder if it's too late, remember that you can be delayed, but not denied. God is always on time. And I am so grateful to him and the Remar team, prayer, consistency, and VT. I am still in awe of what God has done for me and he can do it for you too. She is officially Miriam Ferguson are in our end. And I, 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 I put this on here because I know that somebody, somebody was um, in that situation, but will be coming out of it soon. All right. And so I hope Remar Nurse University this year can help somebody to do that as well. All right. So congratulations to everybody that passed. Um, hey, last thing I want to tell you too, before we go into our Monday motivation, which is so, um, it's so exciting for me. You guys probably already know this, but I'm going to share a big announcement with you guys. Um, but Remar Nurse University is still 75% off during, uh, the, uh, the virtual trainer is 75% off during Remar Nurse University. If you already have the quick facts, that price has dropped down to just $129. So an amazing, an amazing discount for the best review program ever, okay? Also, the free shipping on the VT ends tomorrow. So the books, the free shipping on those books will end tomorrow, guys, all right? So I just wanted to tell you that, okay, uh, as well. Take advantage of it today. Take advantage of it today. All right, because there won't be any coupon codes or anything like that for it. Okay, let's get into our Monday motivation. No time to waste. No time to waste. Man, guys, isn't time going by so fast? Time is going by so fast this year. Literally, we are in May. We are in May. I feel like we had just brought in... Uh, the new years together with seven days of NCLEX. So what do you do when time is going by so fast and there's no time? I literally have to be intentional. Somebody said, Sandra says, yes, time waits for no one. I have to be intentional about every day. I have to create a schedule. My schedule is what keeps me on track. And I realized this, you know, we can have a lot we can have a lot during this pandemic. We can have a lot of 
food, a lot of shelter, a lot of money, but really our greatest asset is time. It really is the time that we have. And I'm realizing today, every day, how fast that time is going by. So I made this announcement on Instagram this morning, and it's that Mark and I are expecting our third baby. So baby Callion number three is on the way. Like, so I hit the 20 week mark yesterday and it literally has been such a whirlwind pregnancy that everything is happening almost too fast. It's almost happening too fast. Like time is flying by. And you guys know, like, I thought that I was just making this big announcement that like, okay, I'm pregnant. And, um, yeah, I'm just telling you guys, I've been keeping it a secret. But when I read the comments on Instagram, people were like, girl, we knew you was pregnant last month. <laughs> and somebody had put like, I told my husband you was pregnant last week and it's a boy. You know, I don't even know what the baby is. Mark and I, we like to be surprised. Throughout everything, throughout everything, guys, you and I have built a relationship where you literally know and you can notice changes in me. And it's really cool. Um, but it reminded me too, okay, this is my third pregnancy that I'm doing with uh, Remar in front of the Remar camera. And some of you have been with me since Salome. Some of you have been with me since my first pregnancy six years ago. And so time is going by so fast. Time is going by so fast and we have to be intentional about every day. And we have to do this, which is like point number two, execution over excuses, execution over excuses and keeping our word. Because if anything, if anything, you guys know when you're pregnant, you have the best reason to be tired. You have a reason to say, I'm not feeling this. I'm tired. I don't want to do this. Shout out to my, to my husband, Mark, because he's been dealing with me, uh, being like diva <laughs> during this time, but literally, um, so I, you know, I found out we were having baby number three in, um, February, February and the pandemic hit in March and it changed everything. We were supposed to travel. We were supposed to travel. We had the master class in Orlando. We were thinking about what we were going to do for Remarch University. Businesses had contracted me to speak. Schools, live reviews all over the place. And the pandemic totally shut that down. And we had to make a decision. What are we going to do with all this time? And I was exhausted. I'm tired now. Y'all don't know. A girl is tired right now. And it came to the point of, okay, are we going to be able to execute no matter what? Are we going to be able to still do Monday motivations every Monday? Every Monday, y'all. I, when I tell y'all I was encouraging Y'all, I was encouraging myself to be on camera on Mondays. Um, and so for you guys, what promises have you made that you got to keep no matter what? No matter what, what promises do you have to make sure that you follow through with? And for some of us, it's really just getting our license. OK, yes, I did. I've, I've had pregnancy brain. I have. It's true. I haven't been able to read. Right. I've been saying all kind of mixed up stuff. And even through all of that, I am committed to keeping my word and being on here. And you guys know that uh, you guys know I'm tired. All right. But it is a matter of execution, execution. Pregnancy is very temporary. Our, our struggles, our difficult times are very temporary compared to the bigger picture, you know? And so the bigger picture was getting virtual trainer out there, making sure that we, you know, committed to Remar Review um, and, and Remar Nurse University, keeping our Remar team working during the pandemic. Like there was so much on our plates. I had to, I even quit school. I even quit school because I was like, I have to make a decision about what really is my priority. And my family, 
God, of course, and then my Remar family. And so we all have to get to a point where it's like we can look at everything and we can determine, okay, at this time, what I need to focus on is what is going to carry me and my family through. And so um, whew, that's where we are right now. We're keeping our word. We're executing no matter what. All right. A girl is big. Big girl is tired, but we got to keep our word. And my nation is simply the best man on the planet, Mark Callion, for me. And just the motto, I can, I will, and I must. All right. I can, I will, and I must. And that applies to so much. All right. That apply, applies to fun. It doesn't seem like, you know, it doesn't seem like a chore at all. It just seems like I'm getting online to study with my friends and uh, it's always a great time. So yes, if I can be an inspiration or just an encouragement for you guys this week, when you're tired, when you're feeling like not doing it, just look back and think of all the progress and the consistency. So to say, for me to say that, and you guys know, I have two other kids at home. Somebody asked me how old they were. I have a six-year-old and I have a three-year-old. And so, thank you, Mara, I had to confirm that. So I have a six-year-old and I have a three-year-old. And they are literally home now all the time. I was already homeschooling my daughter before the pandemic, but at least she could go out and do things like gymnastics and violin. and Like, we don't have any of that stuff anymore. So these kids are home these kids are home and we also had to work from home. And so it's just been, uh, it's just been such a journey for us to transition. And I know in your lives too, everybody's transitioning. You, you, you're having to work now under these new conditions and it's hard. It's so hard. Um, so everybody that's passing NCLEX and, and like rocking it, like nurse uh, Miriam today, 17 years of just being an LPN and now she's a RN, man, that is amazing. So, um, so somebody says, I know what you're going through, going the same thing. Yes, you guys, yes, you guys are right with me. And that's why I can be so transparent with you guys. And that's why I can share. And I'm telling you guys, you know, my secrets that I'm pregnant. And even though you guys are like, we already knew you were pregnant. We knew you were pregnant last month. That's okay. The point is, that we're all going through some sort of struggle. We're all going through some sort of struggle and we're going through it together. And just shout out to all the old school people that already knew. Y'all already know what I'm having. My, my, my Haitian and my Jamaican Remar nurses, y'all already knew before the pandemic, but that's cool. That's cool. Um, this was my big announcement today. So uh, we are coming back tonight for Remar Nurse University. I so hope that you guys will join me. Um, it's going to be fun. All right. <laughs> all right. Um, May 18th through June the 8th. Tell your friends, bring a friend, bring a friend to this event and uh, we will see you there tonight. Class begins Monday. If you have of course, class begins Monday. Class begins at eight. All right. If you um, have not gotten the workbook, please, even if you're going to just print out the workbook is like 50 pages. Even if you just print out the first week for this week, do that. And again, you can find it on Facebook. You can find it on the Facebook out. We also will be emailing out to you guys once again. So uh, expect the email from Mark. We want everybody to be there. Okay. Um, other questions I'm getting is how long will it be up? If you miss any parts of the first session, we will keep it up for at least 24 hours. Okay. We will keep it up for at least 24 hours for you guys. It will be broadcasting on Facebook, fingers crossed, and YouTube tonight. So you can get it on one or the other. You can pick which one you like. Uh, hopefully both broadcasts will be up and going for you guys. And so we'll be able to um, troubleshoot. Let me see here. We'll be able to troubleshoot. If you um, already have the virtual trainer, yes, you still should do Remar Nurse University. And the reason why is because is because the information is, is all new, okay? So 
it's a great addition. If you have the time, do it. I know you guys already have a lot on your plate and it's like, oh, it's another hour class. But what I find is that when you're in a lecture experience with me, then it helps to reduce what you have to do on your own. So you can come to this class. We can go over medications for about an hour or you could try to read it and try to make sense of it on your own. It's going to take you twice as much time to do that. So come to the class, especially if you know pharmacology is your weak area. If you know you struggle with pharmacology, this is a class for you. I chose this topic because I knew that you needed help with pharmacology. Pharmacology was not something that I already had laid out and planned for. I didn't. Usually when I do Remar Nurse University, you guys know I do old stuff. I will do stuff that I already have prepared, but this is all new. So I really want you guys to um, take advantage of the information. I will only be doing this one time a year. I will not be doing this. And I and listen, I'm trying to plan on my maternity leave. I am not doing this again. So I want you guys to come to every Remar Nurse University class. I'm serious, okay? Um, so uh, yes, if you're working tonight, you can you can still watch it. We'll keep it up for about 24 hours. But literally, it's just like uh, our Monday motivations. There are there's nothing like the live experience. So RNs and PNs, I absolutely want the PNs to uh, be there for it as well. Okay, um, I absolutely want the PNs to be in it for well um, here as well for you guys because I'm not doing a separate. Uh, pharmacology for RNs and PNs. PNs attend this pharmacology review. Also, if you do have the virtual trainer, um, I will be doing another special offer for you guys inside of the virtual trainer, but it's not public. It'll be a private sale. So look out for that. I'm really excited about that. And that will be during Remar Nurse University as well. If you're a new graduate, hi, how are you? Come to this class you will see the difference in your learning after you're finished. And I know some of you guys had a, a tough last semester in nursing school. So let me help you with pharmacology tonight. Again, first night here, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I am so excited uh, to premiere this and, and show you this information for pharmacology. It's gonna be a fun time. You don't wanna miss it, all right? So I'm gonna get on out of here. I'm gonna get on out of here and I will be back I will be back for uh, Remar Nurse University tonight at 8 p.m. Don't miss it. Thank you guys so much. As always, I'm out of breath. We can end with, I can, I will, I must pass in clicks. Love you guys.